वेलकम टू वेंचर स्टार्टअप प्रेजेंट स्टार्टअप जंक्शन इनोवेशन अने स्टार्टअप की चला इंपारटे आस्पेक्ट अला इवा रेप उन्न स्टार्टअप फस्ट तन प्रोडक्ट सर्विस लाचू इनोवेटे मूडो उ सैटल तरह दे बिकम ड इनोवेशन अने वन टाइम प्राजेक्ट का इट्स एन आइंग टास्क सो ई रोज मैं षो फोर आईन बिजनेस with some exciting concepts avento chudam so welcome to the show so ee roju episode start chese mundu mana judges ni meeku parichayam chestunanu anita sakuru bits pilani lo pg poorthi chesi america loni kellogg school of management nunchi mba patta puchukoni 23 ella it experience tho anita sakuru india loni startups nu protsahinchenduku ट्रैनी स्टार्टअप जंक्षन प्रोग्राम जडिगा व्यवहार लक्स जेपूरी उस्मािया यूनर्सीटी नीचे एमबीए अलागे यूएस मेनेज इनफर्मेस सिस्टम्स मस्टर्स पूर्ति लक्स जेपूरी अमेरिका वाषिंगन डीसी निवास आयन टेक्नोजन इंक फौर अंड सीईओ व्यवहार अंत मु सिस्का टेक्नजी पे तो उ फोकल सीएक्सएम प्रईवेट लिमटेड अने स्टार्टअप कंपनी की को फौर का प्रेसीडेंट आईन फिफ्टी के वेचर्स को डैरेक्टर का सेवल यूएस पल प्राफिट ना प्राफिट चारी आर्गनजे बोर्ड मेबर का उक्स चेपूरी प्रस्तुत स्टार्टअप जंक्षन प्रोग्राम जडि व्यवहार संजीव के सिंग नागपूर् यूनर्सीटी नीचे बैचल डिग्री तरह एमबीए पूर्ति चेसी प्राजेक्ट डैरेक्टर का पल एमएनसी कंपनी पनीचार संजीव रेल तुम जनवर्क इंक फौर अं सीईव व्यवहार आयन इंत कंपनी टेक् अट्ला पेर तो उ मोटमोदारी क्लौड बेस्ड टैक्स फिंग साफ्टवेर अनता जनवर्क इंक् सीसी टेक्नजी वेचर डेवलपमेंट मेबर का पल स्टार्टअप कंपनी इनवेटर का तोडपाट संजीव सिंग यंग एंटरप्रीनर्स की सलू सूचन अस्तम स्टार्टअप जंक्षन जडि व्यवहार जंक्षन अदन तर इकड़ना पैनल नैक्स्ट सिक्स टू एट मिनट वाल रकाल क्वेश्चन वेस्ता आ क्वेश्चन उद्देश्य आ बिजनेस पर्सन आ व्यापार में आ स्टार्टअप मेलकोल तेसम वाल प्रिपरेशन एंतर वालू कस्टमर्स ने अट्राक्ट फंड अट्राक्टोम कोसम क्वेश्चन वेस्ता आइट टू टेन मिनट प्रजेशन अन तरह इकड़ना पैनल मे मार्क्स वेस्ता आ मार्क्स एट्ला फस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट आफ द मार्क्स इज फर् ऐडिये अंत मे ईडिया दमुंदा लेदा अने दाने मैदा नैक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट आफ द मार्क्स इज फर् रिज अं मार्केट रिसर्च मार्केट रिसर्चेको प्रापर ऐडिया तो वारा लेदा अंत उ प्रोडक्ट कटे मार्केट उ प्रोडक्ट्स कटे प्रोडक्ट बेटर का उदा बेटर सर्वीस अंदा लेते क्रोत ऐडिया तो वा कंप्लीट इदंत रिजमें मार्केट रिसर्च Next to 25% of the marks is for implementation. Implementation is nothing but timeline. Ante next to one week me pranali ke anti, next to one month, next to three months or next to two years. Sometimes next five years me business plan anti me start up ke. Din ki 25% of the marks. Last but not the least, 25% marks is for presentation skills. Ante me ke anta manchi idea unna, anta manchi implementation plan unna. Adi chakka ga explain che isna puru. आ ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट आफ द मार्क्स की मैं एक्सप्लेन एक्सप्लेनेशन प्रकार फंडिंग आपर्चुनिटी का फर्दर एक्सपेन आपर्चुनिटी का उबी चक्कर टाइम दी व्यापारा मेम अड़गन प्रश्न की करेक्ट सामधान तो करेक्ट आंसर चयी ई विश् आल दीम्स आल देस्ट अंड मे देस्ट प्लाडे 
So, Iroj Sholom, our first participant, Mr. Raj Shekhar from Bazinga. Welcome to the show. Uh, we are in a social media listening uh, platform. Uh, let's take your example. Startup Junction, I have an example. This program is not going to be able to do this. It is not going to be able to do this. It is not going to be able to do this. It is example TRP ratings. TRP ratings, so much of the TRP ratings, what should we do? What is the marketing strategy for, uh, for this program? So, we will be taking up comments, we will be taking up feedback uh, from online. So, this particular program on YouTube will post. Chasta. YouTube will post, we will see how the reviews are, how the comments are. And then on Facebook, Twitter. So, we mostly people are spread across online, online platforms, different platforms. So, it can be in newspapers, it can be in forums, it can be different uh, blogs, or it can be on uh, social network, Instagram and all uh, or they can have their own blog so similar to startup junction let's take an example of a product the product can be a flipkart site or a samsung galaxy mobile that is set to launch or a show me mobile or an iphone 7 so before launching what is the steps that they are taking how they how do they strategize their marketing so they pull people talking about a product online so taking the unstructured data what people are talking on twitter facebook blogs and all and we convert it into structured data we give them analytics and we add them the sentiment as well so if so someone is saying that oh it's a uh, damn good mobile then we say it's a post if someone is not satisfied with a flipkart delivery of a laptop or something then we say that it's a negative and we categorize it as positive negative and neutral so this is how we get the unstructured data that is available online and curate the analytics which helps them to strategize their marketing plan. Along with the analytics, we give them sentiment analysis. We geographically say from which area or which location people are talking about their particular product. And also we give them particular segment of the people. Walu, gents, lady, women, or eat kids, or youth. We take all these demographics from different online source, online sources. So this is about a product which is helping any product or any service or any organization to strategize their marketing. So what are you? And so online platform? Yeah, we are online platform. We have a web-based application. Okay. So uh, any anyone with a subscription model, they can log into the website and they can uh, track their uh, uh, voices, what people are talking in the website. We give them analytics and sentiment analysis. So as it's well. only for uh, products and services, not for celebrities or anyone? Celebrities as well we do. Uh, it, it, is, it can be anything which has a considerable voice online. For example, let's take uh, Shah Rukh Khan. So a lot of people talk about Shah Rukh Khan. If someone search for me, there's no one. So I, I, there's nothing to track about me, but there's a lot to track about Abdul Kalam, or there's a lot to track about Modi, or there's a lot to track about Startup Junction. Do you see any competition out there doing the similar type of thing? Or, uh, you, yeah, you there's, a, there's, there's competition. There's so a competition. In the Western world, there's a huge competition. Uh, do you, can you name some competitors? Yeah, Radio 6 is one competition. Simplify 360 is yeah, one competition. Sir, let me ask you, how are you different than Sprinkler? Yeah, we are co particularly segmented with Southeast Asian okay. market. Well, so why you is stick to the certain market, not go. I mean, it's web, right? So yeah. you can do the listening and yeah, we can do the listening in North America as well or Western. But if you look at Sprinkler, they're in enterprise space, you know, b valued over a billion, raised tons of money. True. How are you going to compete against them? Yeah, we are not competing in terms of the volume of them, but we are competing in terms of our U USP. Mm -hmm. When you take the USP, you can take Radiant Six or any other thing, mm -hmm. or any any North American. They are spread across North America and w Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. and some to Western Europe as well. But we are completely into. Say, say in Southeast Asia, you did an example of mouth shut. So mouth shut, the data that is available or you take any Indian entrepreneur forum, uh, Indian any forum, complaint forum, anything. Right. So we are specific and we have catered this data for Indian specific uh, products. But this particular data is unavailable with them. They may be coming to India over a period of time. But by the time they come, we want to be a leader in this so social so media. So that's not your USP actually. That's your limitation, limitation. you're creating for yourself, right? Yeah, USP could be technological differentiator or market marketing strategy yeah. or something different right yeah we give them a so for them probably the market is not big enough to come to just southeast asia, southeast right? asia. So, so that could be the layer yeah that's, that could be the, the one, one reason they haven't stepped into indian market yeah. and that is the one we thought it's an advantage for us and we thought to quickly uh, get a couple of clients are you are you how many clients do you have today we are uh, supporting 17 brands a uh, paid paid 17 brands and there are other trial versions which what we are about running. unpaid Unpaid, there are another six to seven uh, brands. Money just in Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are cash positive as of now. How much money you are making? Uh, 5 lakh per month is the minimum thing. Uh, sometimes we go to around 8 to 10 lakhs. It depends on the brands that we go. So, what is your expansion plan? 
So expansion plan, this, this year we are recruiting marketing and sales people because uh, as of now we are just five member team and mostly two, uh, three are technical and just two are looking into sales and all. So we want to expand, uh, we have client in Singapore as well. So we want to expand more in Singapore and in India and we want to pres uh, make our presence in North America as well. What is your uh, long term vision? Are you, you want to make companies better by making them listen better? Or? Yeah, customer service. We want to improve the customers. Any brand, their vision will be to satisfy the customer and customer so that they their sales can increase or they can build a more business. So we want to help the customers to build a brand. See one uh, loophole I saw in what you have explained in okay. your vision is you put me range up to a negative positive in the uh, brand yeah, yes, no. sentiment uh, but the negative is positive under the too broad it's according similar. to me we don't say that we are 100 percent we are just 60 to 70 percent ah, okay. then a uh, near yeah. unquote end into a specific feedback oh sorry no ah. so someone says that this is fatally good hmm. so fatally is something which is a negative word and good is accompanying it right so sometimes we fail uh, in say saying that exact negative so we don't claim that we are 100 percent negative and 100 percent uh, we are giving sentiment we say that 60 to 70 percent we give and few clients ask us how can you improve it right so we have two solutions for that we use IBM Watson's uh, algorithm to improve the sentiment second thing is like we have a manual team we hire for the specific client who manually says if something is negative they cross check it and say it's a positive so this the algorithm itself adds into the next keyword so over a period of time it becomes a uh, teaching for so them so overall sentiment in catch as the specific customer feedback mm. you are not catching specific uh, in the overall sentiment we say this uh, this is a particular customer who is negative on you or this is a particular you do some pattern building pattern yeah. Pa yeah. you are only building patterns, patterns. you are not uh, serious customer service company card so if coming to a IP what what do you own really you are saying IBM Watson you are using it but what do you have really for I mean we have a, the whole thing is uh, we have internal uh, internal so data in-house in yeah, in uh, build, uh, in -house built uh, everything but when few customers because we don't have a brand they say they may not believe that we are good with sentiment at that time for the customers we give IBM Watson do you uh, do the reputation management also Re reputation management we help them to do reputation management mm -hmm. we do not do any PR kind of uh, Okay. Uh, so, and how long you been in business? This uh, is second year. We are second year. So, second. five lakhs is year to date, or since inception, or is monthly? No, not not since inception. In the second year, we started. It. Raise any money, or it's all bootstrap? It's completely bootstrapped as of now. Okay, very good. That's good. Sixty lakhs if you are doing. Yeah. yeah. Run rate. Yes. Yeah. yes. Very good. But how are you charging? Is it? Uh, yeah, it's a subscription per monthly. We start our pricing starts with ten thousand. Car enterprise license, or you do like uh, enterprise license? Enterprise license. We give them enterprise. License. It's a completely cloud. Okay. So, at any point of time, they can increase their brands, and they can as well uh, check out how their competitors are as well doing. Who is your immediate them. competitor in Southeast Asia? Uh, Southeast Asia, so not simplified 360 is one competitor. Okay. Uh, German 8 is another competitor. How, how far you uh, from these two companies what you just named? Uh, uh, as per uh, brands, we think that we are ne very near to German 8 but not that near to simplified 360 because it has good coverage in, the in terms uh, of the clientele and in the, in the area. Yeah, the wherever we go, wherever we go for presentation, it uh, uh, sometimes it exists. Okay. So we, it's it's a nearby competitor. Maybe it takes one more year for us to yes. uh, grab right. more. Yeah. Thanks. I really like this startup. Chala nachindi ante valunna space koda manch space. Um, Taravata already they are making money and they already hit uh, 5 lakhs per month. Anni koda subasuchikar laga and pichri naako chala na chindi. So idea ki nenu 20 marks is sinana and uh, realism ki koda 20 marks I think valu research adhi ches kunaru. Southeast Asia lo South India lo ekko competition led ga I think uh, they are operating in that space. So realism ko nenu 20 marks is chana. Implementation ki in terms of uh, time frame ekko discuss chela pe na gaani. I think they have a solid plan based on the revenue numbers. So, Dani could have 20 marks and uh, presentation skills ki you know, 20 marks he could have done better in Koncho clear ga explain Jesapani. But nevertheless, it is uh, one of the best ideas that we have seen and I wish them all the best total 80 marks. Well, just startups present startup junction low. Ipraga chinna break this kundam. Welcome back to Venture Startups Present Startup Junction. My next participant, Mr. Manikiran from rapcupid.com. Welcome to the show. Uh, we are India's first seasonal fashion store. Before I get into the product, I would like to tell where you can shop according to season and occasion. There are many shopping 
e-commerce companies in India, but still there is a small gap where you can shop according to the season and occasion. Let's say in the last 2017 February, 2000, February th there are 46 percent such related to fashion related in the Google, and every third shopping search is related to fashion. So let's say I mean in last uh, 2016 and 17 fashion is Valentine's Day, Day T-shirts are the most uh, related search for uh, fashion e-commerce. Retailers like Hallmark, uh, La Valentine's Day approaches large portion of the e-commerce. There is no particular brand to shop according to season and occasion. So we are here. We are here to shop according to every season and occasion. So we come up with uh, seasonal and occasional fashion. Let's say on the month of January, we came up with Independence Day fashion. So this is like India 47. This is regular, regular fashion. You can wear casually and on not only on the occasion. Anytime you can wear. And you can show off. It's our in a it's our country pride. In the Valentine's Day, you can show a couple T-shirts. There are a lot of people who search for Valentine's Day couple T-shirts. So there is no particular brand. There are many companies, but still there is no particular brand. So we want to create a brand for seasonal, occasional merchants. And the market is very huge. It's more than 160 billion as per 2016 Technopack uh, resources. So we are coming up with seasonal fashion. Uh, to target our audience, our product line is completely targeting people who follow their passion and interest. So, so our products are like gym products. So you can see like there is a complete viscose dry fit. So first we design our product and then we target our audience. So this is a completely traveling product. So it's a go it's a Goa based product. So where you can when you travel to Goa, you can visit sublimation technology print. Mm -hmm. Especially we made for this. So this is the kind of boxes we do. So there are many brands, but this is a kind of funky and youthful stuff. So You're only selling through web. Yeah, yes, ma'am. We're only selling through our online website. How do you d differentiate? Any sites on the Google look healthy, like you can find tons of sites. Right. So uh, before we uh, let's say there are many companies, but they launch the product, then they target audience. That is so much uh, burn rate. But what we do is before we design the product, we we choose our audience, then we target the product. So let's say uh, we want for the month of February, we come up with Valentine's Day. So then we then we see then we see the last month data reports. Uh, there is a huge need for data and collaborative shopping experience. So bef before making a product, the if the data is really important. So to avoid the burn rate as well as I think. Uh, the, uh, our differentiated factor is we target audience who especially we uh, uh, who searching for this kind of product. So data and shopping experience is really important for fashion e-commerce. Target audience, mm -hmm. then you make right. the product, right? What's right. the metho method you choose to? So avoid? let's say uh, we ch we choose like before doing a gym product, we check the fa uh, through Facebook we can check the affinity of the audience base and consumers base. So uh, once once we check that, we come up with such kind of uh, fa fashion product. You don't do any your internal surveys and all you don't do yeah we do internal surveys like le let's say uh, for the for, for any any kind of product like traveling so we s we see lo lot of affinity and lot of suches mm -hmm. so we do an analytic reports and uh, after after that let's say company like teespring they they make a uh, lot of research and survey and they launch a cam campaign mm -hmm. so we, we we do such kind of uh, survey and after that we launch a product before we launch a product we take 45 days are you hyderabad based yeah we are hyderabad based uh, do you know my dream store yeah, I know my dream so store. So, they are copying out of dream store. So, my dream store, where is it? What is the difference between you yeah, and dream store? I'll tell yeah. you. So, my dream store is completely campaigner based platform. But so a similar product. And yeah. uh, they, their cost is low because they are they do the marketplace, right? So, right. they don't have any capex there. So, they just everything right. is. My, my dream store is something like mm. they, they, are, they, are, they print the products for a campaigners. But we are a, we are a platform for a, an artist. Mm. An artist can submit their design and get 20% royalty on each sale. So, we we be. We be a marketing hand for uh, artists so that is the USP of our products no they do exact same thing they have but artists yeah you sell your own design and product and through their platform and they charge you certain commission and you keep rest of the money so right so and uh, they do the production as well so right so they only do the production it is uh, my differ is completely mm. it's a replica of a teespring but rap keep it is some it is his own unique so an artist only submit the design mm -hmm. and get 20 percent royalty on each sale we we promote the product so uh, my dream store do I mean does a product let's say if it's not an occasional they do it but we mm. are completely occasional based merchandise pr brand mm. Valentine's Day I put I put in the product you under the middle the product will be still available still people will buy for couple 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 t-shirts other product will be again other mm. products will add 
So do they need the price? Our product will be there on the on the web store. Yeah, uh, before launching product, we just in time management. So once we get an order, like about twenty orders, then we start manufacturing. You do in-house manufacturing or outsource it? Ah, uh, we ah uh, in-house manufacturing. Let's say in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. But you need to have minimum order uh, to go. Um, no, for uh, the single order also we'll do. Okay, but that's not. Is it cost effective for you? No, be because uh, uh, each product we we would able to sell at least fifty pieces. So that's mm -hmm. not a cost effective for us. What's your GMV? Current GMV? Currently we have thirty lakhs per annum. Per annum. Yeah. Are you profitable? Uh, no, not at. Okay. And where are you losing money? So we are losing basically money at uh, when ma marketing as well as like uh, uh, employee employee. So what is your cost? Uh, customer ca acquisition cost? So it is one fifty rupees. Customer acquisition. Yeah. So what is your order size? Are lower than that. Uh. What is your order size really? Mm. You are saying so one fifty. So order size is uh, five hundred rupees. That's a minimum. Yeah. Okay. So uh, sometimes in the recent winter. What's your profit? Uh, I mean uh, targeted profit here. I mean if it is going to be profitable. Yeah. Each order, what is the percentage? Let's say if we can grow for 800 uh, average cart value, we will be profitable. So okay. what I am telling you, we are making around like 600 orders per month. So if we can able to make thousand orders thousand. per month, so we are just four four people. If we can make thousand orders, we will be profitable. At the same time, we are growing month on month 20 percent. So you only do printing. The clothes come from somewhere else, sir. Yeah, I mean not just printing. We manufacture the product. The campaign related printing, right? Right, right. But okay. uh, yeah, it's like custom ink. I think something else is no, there. No, no, no. No, no, let's say I mean this kind of products. Let's say uh, we launch the products. These are like we cannot do. I mean, manufacturing uh, once we get an order. So okay. we we do minimum orders. So after that we. But we customer launch. will have less choice, right? I mean, yeah, they only can put what message they want or what. Yeah, but we thing. have we have more than uh, thirty. We have more than thirty fifty products in. But uh, then you have to carry the uh, clothing on your uh, on your shelf, right? You have to carry the inventory, not right. knowing what customer is going to order. Right, that, but that is uh, that's why we are uh, focusing on seasonal fashion. Uh, where do you sell? Mostly online or on social media, Facebook and yeah, all. Yeah, mostly social media. Mostly social media. Yeah. You're not targeting any colleges and all. Yeah, I mean we uh, we targeting mostly MNC companies at this moment, and just as well as a uh, uh, few colleges. Ideation, I'll give him twenty. All this not a very unique idea, but at least uh, they have been able to jump and. Uh, <laughs> Generate revenue out of it. At uh, least, lot of courage. Realism, I'm going to give him ten because this business, I know, it's it's a very very hard to make profit. I mean, you will keep growing top line GMVs, uh, but your uh, gaps will keep increasing. The way he said, if he goes to 800 rupees, his operating expenses will we'll skyrocket yeah. and very difficult to uh, uh, close that gap and and be profitable in that business. Implementation is great. Uh, GMV speaks that he has been able to implement it. Uh, but again, the twist is uh, making profit out of that implementation, for which I'm going to give him 20, and then presentation is 15. So I'll repeat: ideation 20, realism 10, uh, implementation 20, and uh, presentation 15. Total 65. Well, just startups present startup junction low. I prakash chinnu break this kundam. Welcome back to Venture Startups Present Startup Junction. My third contestant, Mr. Om Agarwal from Easy Coach. At Easy Coach, we are using technology and innovation at scale to help people with their college admissions. Whenever we speak about college admissions, people usually speak of the top 10, 15 colleges like Harvard and Stanford, but the reality is not more than 3% of the students get into those colleges. So what do they do? They don't know where the other colleges fit into the hierarchy. So they go to the next door admission consultant who usually has a uh, commission uh, sharing structure with a limited number of colleges, but even then he promotes one or two where he gets it's a maximum commission so the student does not really get what he hopes for what we are doing at easy coaches we have created an online platform whereby student can enter his criteria for example i want to go to us or new york i want to pursue fashion designing my budget is this uh, 45 lakhs and I mm, have uh, got this much in my entrances, etc., uh, etc., et and he, he's shown a list of colleges. If those colleges belong into the top of the line, for example, Harvard or Stanford, he gets connected to coaches who are students and alumni of that uh, college, and he can get the guidance completely online. But if the colleges are not in the top uh, 10, 15, where, uh, wherein the number of seats available is more than the applications uh, which they are getting, we help the students get an uh, informal review from the students who have already been there. And then we help them with the college admissions end to end. 
So, uh, so we uh, like you know what we want to do is we want to be like that lenscard.com what lenscard.com has done to the offline eyewear brands we want to do the same with respect to college admissions. I know there is a lot of money to be made here Rome because I know India is a big market for US yeah. uh, universities. Not just US, everything. Yeah, any, any, yeah. anywhere, and I think they are just eyeing our uh, money and our interest in uh, this. Did you receive any funding or any awards or anything before uh, pitching here? Uh, yes, so we have received two rounds of funding in this current round that uh, is ninety percent subscribed. Uh, we were selected as one of the uh, like top startups from India. We went for NASCOM Minutrek last year. And uh, and yeah, so uh, given the trends of mm. people uh, going abroad from Hyderabad, we have shifted from Kolkata to Hyderabad. To this is where uh, we should have started, <laughs> Hyderabad, <laughs> <So> <laughs> and then maybe Vijayawada next, because um, there's a lot of until this entire area, both mm -hmm. the Telugu-speaking states, under ki foreignly do degree tech colony untende. So how much do you charge the student? So we uh, so it it's like we uh, we uh, for for the last year we have been creating the platform. Mm -hmm. When we started, we thought the problem is of the rich, like you know, going into the Harvards or Stanfords. Mm -hmm. uh, we were uh, on the student paying uh, model of it, whereby we would charge them as much as sixty thousand. Evidently, we didn't get much success in the same. So recently, we have shifted the model to a more of a college paying model, whereby uh, we charge a very low amount from the student. For example, we are going to schools and colleges. We are uh, charging 1000 rupees for a mock uh, mock examination and giving them counseling. 10% of them, if they are converting for uh, the full time programs, we are taking just 5000 at the start and 5000 after we get the Edition. get them their acceptance uh, letter. Colleges, on the other hand, we already have tie ups with uh, 12 colleges. Like, we have just started, like, I have just opened up my uh, office out here and we are starting with our marketing. But uh, till now, uh, there has been a 100% success rate with the colleges and they are uh, agreed to pay, like, we have signed MOUs where they pay us $2,000 to $5,000 for every student coming in. Yeah. How you guys uh, weave all these things together? Uh, uh, what is the process? You are not like another uh, consulting no. uh, coach, I mean counseling mm. company. How do you differentiate yourself? So there are two, uh, there are two factors. Firstly, firstly, any consultant say uh, if a consultant is based out of Gachiboli, he mm. always gets stuck with Gachiboli because uh, like his okay. demand size is not large. Today we are getting queries from Syria, we are getting queries from Thailand, we are getting uh, queries from Egypt. So given the technology platform, our sales funnel is wide. And okay. given the fact that our sales funnel is wide, we can negotiate with the colleges that you know you uh, you tie up with us obviously some colleges are having the exclusive partners in India so to them we say that okay let's forget India in India we'll uh, we'll you know we'll give business to your exclusive partner and next year let's see uh, you know uh, whether you want to just keep that exclusivity mm -hmm. and we are everywhere like we tell them like if not uh, are just you going to become a sourcing for the universities whose interest you are protecting here is the students so interest or the uh, college so interest? the problem which we are fa uh, the problem is more of immigration ra rather than the problem of <coughs> education mm -hmm. so uh, what the students want is they want to go outside get a job and education is a means to the end so for them uh, the problem now uh, what they are facing is they go to the US with high hopes mm -hmm. uh, some agent has duped them uh, for a certain college and then when they see that you know the reality uh, is not matching with their hopes they they really get shattered and they return back to India or uh, like they are completely lost so in that manner if we are helping the students select the college which would be right for him given his uh, situation we are protecting the students interest and alongside we are getting more and more students to the college uh, my only concern is you said universities are offering you guys two to five thousand dollars that yeah. is a concern because you'll be Debiting your traffic towards those universities because you're going to no, make money. No, so our uh, so we are setting up once mm. we are setting up these uh, partnerships with the universities. Mm -hmm. We mm. are setting up marketing ag uh, agents. These agents do not know which university is paying how much. Their payout is based on the uh, duration of the program. For uh, for example, an MBA program will have this or that. So their interest would be that the student actually goes out there and attends the uh, attends the program because if he does not attend, they don't get a single penny. So. That's uh, that's how we are uh, operating. What do you really? What is the value you provide to a student who is en enrolling with you guys? So uh, so since we have just started, our value is limited to admission guidance. <coughs> but going forward, we want to uh, we want to help the students with the entire spectrum. Like for example, after admission comes admission financing. Uh, one of our investors is uh, was the VP and director of Citibank uh, UAE, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and obviously the consortium coming in right now. Uh, so we plan to get mm -hmm. Citibank as our admission 
financing partner helping them know their risk exposure when it comes to admission fi uh, financing and and yeah go on to all the aspects which leads the student uh, towards the job like get immigrated to that country because that's a problem that we are fe uh, like solving we are not uh, we are not concerned with you know the top of the line students top of the line students have immense clarity on what they want to do mm -hmm. but our problem is with respect to the mainstream because we don't want to be a boutique admission consultancy so you're going to cover all the universities in the world or just in a certain area that, that's uh, that's what we are uh, hoping like the you scope know is uh, scope is huge yeah. <laughs> scope yeah uh, so it's like uh, and uh, like currently us is facing the trump nightmare so France has uh, got the lead. Uh, so it's like the person wanting to go abroad, he will never how stop. How do you present the data when you have so many universities, so much of uh, admission criteria and what not, mm. right? So how do you really get all this into one place where uh, informed decision can be done? So, so right, uh, right now, since we are in the process of getting, uh, getting all the data, how the students are reacting. So students come onto your website, they search for their college, and then they directly start a search with us. But uh, in two, in two months, what we are doing is student will come onto the website. They will just answer six questions. They will be shown top ten colleges, washed out. They connect their Facebook. Uh, we see that okay, these are the ten colleges best for him. So we classify the user into various buckets, and then we do the targeting. If it's a Harvard kind of student we say that why SOP is important if it's a uh, guy going to say Chicago State University we say that which college will give him the best scholarship what are the best chances of a job post that so we can segment our users and once we engage with that user for the next two to three months we would be in the position to convert that user more than any offline admission consultant because that's when he would trust us so <laughs> what's your current revenue so current revenue uh, uh, since we, uh, since we were building the platform and everything right. we just did some test case it's around a lakh uh, but that was also uh, purely on the student uh, student charging side college okay. uh, college side we want to have at least 200 to 300 universities to start with how much time it takes you to convert them and get into an agreement where they agree to pay you 2000 or 3000 dollars after uh, so uh, the time takes in getting to the skype call once we get to the skype call hmm. it has been a 100% success till date and they generally sign the mou the next day okay. so it's all about reaching out to the right person and in terms of students the uh, revenue from the college is realized within a period of 6 months 50% mm -hmm. when the student pays the fees that is up typically after 3 months and 50% once the student goes to the college and starts attending the same so it's 50 50 <laughs> Right. Very good. Ideation is 22 because this is addressing the real pain point of the parents and uh, realism yeah, 18 and implementation is going to be difficult from my point of view because they have to reach out to all 18 and I am also concerned about their uh, uh, who is going to protect the you know, protect uh, they are going to protect the students interest or the university interest because they are going to get paid from the universities they may compromise on the students uh, uh, interest so I am going to give 18 and uh, he gave a good presentation so i'm going to give 22 uh, uh, points and total is uh, 80. well just startups present startup junction low ipro kachinna break this kundam welcome back to venture startups present startup junction well our last participant mr bhavan from india biz for sale.com welcome to the show bhavan in 2010, my father uh, wanted to sell his business uh, because of some management issue. At that point of time, not knowing what to do, he, reala he used the traditional way of identifying a buyer for a business. He reached out, he reached out to his consultants and uh, brokers he knew, and he reached out. He also gave advertisement in a uh, kind of newspaper. Over the period of time, he realized that it is a very inefficient way to identify a buyer, especially when the business is running and is profitable. You don't want others to know that there is a business for sale. During this process, we realized that there is a huge gap for this kind of business in India. And also, same time, it is a challenge for those uh, consultants and advisors how to find good buyer across, uh, from across geography so that you can get good valuation for the, for the business. And during this time, we did a lot of research and we realized that there is a better way to do, the, do this. And we launched uh, a platform called IndiaBizForSale.com in 2013. Currently, we have more than 2,000 businesses from across India. Uh, from uh, you know small cafe restaurants to large cement plants, chemical companies, pharma companies, textile units, also IT, IT services company, and also startups. We allow businesses to identify partners. We allow businesses to identify uh, investments, uh, investment for their business. We have done many successful transactions so far, and we have uh, 
uh, we have focus in India market right now, and uh, all the businesses are from India, but investor can come from outside India as well. We have number of successful transactions where other com uh, companies from other countries have come and partner with Indian companies. Uh, we are uh, our vision is to become uh, largest. Uh, technology enabled platform for businesses and advisors. Uh, we've started with India and we'll go into other markets in future. So how do you uh, facilitate a uh, buyer to a seller? Um, so um, the businesses are uh, presented with all the basic information required for a other person to understand how good is the business opportunity. But at the same time, we do not disclose the identity of the business or the contact details of the uh, entrepreneur himself or herself. So uh, it, it's, it started like a shadi.com for businesses and advisories. And uh, over the period of time, we added a lot of services along the side. We realized that for most of the businesses, uh, this is the kind of activity they are doing it for the first time. So they, they need a lot of handholding after the, even the match is made. So each business gets a lot of inquiries. Uh, there is some kind of qualification, uh, qualification of those buyers happen over the platform, all automated. And then also, uh, we, we also have a lot of advisors who use this platform on behalf of their client. So they provide the handling services to understand uh, how good is a uh, buyer, uh, whether they are capable enough or whether they're ambitious enough for, the, for this transaction. And if, they, if, uh, if everything is matching, then they go for the negotiation and uh, diligence part. And the, eventually the sale happens. So what is the volume of your business? How many transactions you're doing per month or? Uh? Like LinkedIn, uh, when the job posting is made, they don't know exactly how many uh, job postings have resulted into a candidate being hired. Similarly, we cannot track each and every transaction because buying a business is required a lot of uh, physical verification meetings and stuff for the negotiation. So what we provide is a good matching, uh, good matching platform for them to come together. Uh, we capture the moments which happen after the, afterwards. We've created a lot of material for them to use which will be required during the transaction. Currently, we have more than 2,000 businesses up for sale good and investment. Really. We have more than 5,000 buy side requirements all posted. Altogether, we have around 17,000 members on the platform, more than 1,500 business consultants, investment bo uh, boutique investment banks, uh, some funds and advisory firms are also registered on the platform. Excellent. So out of 17K, all are paid members? Uh, we have more than 500 paid clients right now. Okay. So what level of access uh, unpaid members get? Uh, they can explore uh, what is out there. They can contact limited amount of uh, businesses or advisors free of charge, but afterwards they have to pay to access the system. We also have valuated services such as business valuation, uh, business uh, marketing collateral material, like when you want to sell, you want to present it in a nice way. So we provide all those as a valuated services. Okay. Are you making money now? Yes, we are making money. Two suggestions for you. One is your name could be a problem in the future, right? You yourself said uh, you want to go beyond India and your name itself is also India based for sale, sure. right? So sooner you change is better for you. Okay. Second one is your... Uh, one of the questions she asked and you said you're not sure about transaction you may want to think about doing an escrow model so sure. if the deal happens the transaction should happen through your platform yeah. so and you guarantee it to some extent right sure. when you're doing the valuation you're doing the deal sourcing financing and everything why not do this escrow almost sure. like your oldest model right sure where so you're holding everything and you're keeping commission out of that too not just the membership sure. each successful transaction like a true broker you're making X percentage of it. Sure, That's a very, 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 very valid uh, and mm. a nice suggestion. Um, that is a way forward. Uh, you know, initially we started with the small businesses like cafes and retail outlets. Uh, now we are moving towards mid-market uh, businesses. That's where all this uh, kind of technology and the processes will be useful. We have data walls for them to use. So uh, businesses can provide all the documentation and uh, that they are secured in cloud. So as and when they share those documents, uh, to the other party, uh, we can give them the analytics of what is happening with that other party, whether they are actually checking that or whether they haven't uh, sp spent much time on that. So it helps them in the negotiation. But while they, it is helpful to them, we also capture those moments that where it is going next, where it has, where it has reached. When they have shared the engagement agreement or let's say uh, in investment it is term shared, then we know that they have reached to that level. So we have the customer service team who can speak to them, who can, they can guide them to the next level. So we do have a lot of communication happening, uh, automated as well as offline, uh, to capture those moments. But yes, going forward, escrow accounts and stuff like that uh, would be added to the system. Maybe people are listing businesses on your site, but maybe they're selling offline, not telling you guys. So how do you validate that, and how do sure. you make sure 
Sure. Mm -hmm. So um, right now, uh, there are two level of uh, verification or curation process happen. Uh, whatever is posted uh, is not approved unless we check it first. So that is the first level of curation. We make sure the language is good, the basic information is provided, mm -hmm. the pictures are not going out to uh, giving the identity out. Those kind of uh, you know hygiene checks we do at first level. Second level, we ask a lot of documents and KYC to uh, from the businesses to uh, check and give them the verified tag. Uh, so when the verified tag is given, then we give the list of documents we have checked as a system. So it could be three years financials, it could be the list of clientele with the contracts in place, uh, it could be their company's uh, KYC documents. So all those documents are listed so that uh, other other side knows that uh, this business has been verified with this kind of documentation. Mm -hmm. India Biz for Sale uh, idea na chara ba na chindi and the kante. Uh, um, unorganized sector is trying to organize idea 22 realism ki 20 implementation ki 20 and cheppina anta easy kaadu kani chaala points cover chesaraina kabatti 20 presentation skills ki 20 marks so together 82 marks ee roju show lo consolidated scores ante chuddam So, Eroj episode lo winner, Mr. Om Agarwal from Easy Coach. Congratulations, Om. Rest of the participants. Innovation is the mantra of any sustainable business model. Eroj achna four online ideas kuda chala innovative ga onnai. Mali next episode lo inkoni interesting ideas to mali kaluddam. Till then, bye bye. <laughs>